Hey everybody, Mean Joe from Boss USA. Hey, I'm sitting here getting ready to do some spring maintenance and I thought this would be a good opportunity for a little quick tip video. So what I noticed on my quarter scale spat is that the hedges were actually starting to get pretty worn out. This airframe has quite a few uh, flights on it and I figured it was a good time to go ahead and swap out the hinges before we had an in-flight failure, which is never good. So as you can see here, I've already got the elevator half set up and ready to go. I'm using the Dubro hinge pins locked in place hinges. Uh, you can pick those up at uh, Dubro.com and we also carry those over at BalsaUSA.com. Category number on those is 117. So you can see here, I've already got the elevator half ready to go. I've got my uh, Dubro nylon hinge here. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you that everything is already set to go. And it's all ready to go to reinstall. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I got to that point. So I'm gonna set the elevator half aside for right now. And I'm gonna show you that right here is the other half of the hinge that has uh, broken away. So it's very simple. Not something that you need to be intimidated about doing at all. You want to get your handy dandy um, number 11 hobby blade with your handle. And you're going to come in just above the hinge. And you're just going to slowly work your way down. Along the side of this hinge. Being very careful to keep your fingers out of the way. These blades are sharp. Please make sure you are being safe. And if you come down right along the hinge on both sides, yes, you actually will be cutting a little bit of the balsa. The balsa is quite a bit easier to get through than the epoxy that you use to install your hinge. So the recommendation is, is that you come right along the nylon hinge and you'll be able to feel it as you're going through. You'll meet much less resistance on the balsa. As long as you stay right up against the hinge, you're not going to have any problems with taking too much out. That one still needs a little bit more work. And as always, you know, work slow into this. You don't want to try to rush. There is no hurry at all because you don't want to damage anything and it's not a race. So that one's in there pretty good. We just keep slowly working it. It's just like when you sand, you do a little bit at a time until you figure out where it's hanging at. And once you get that done, the hinge should pull out of there very, very easily. Just be careful not to crack the balsa as you're going. And you can see here, that hinge pulls right out. Now what I normally do is I go in here and I clean this up just a little bit. A little bit of balsa shavings is actually a good thing because that will help adhere when you put the new hinge in. And what I also use, just as a good measure, is I have one of these older Great Plains slot machines. This is a motorized hinge slotting tool. This is perfect for this application. If you can get your hands on one of these uh, at a swap meet or any place else, it's a great find. You can see all it does is it has two blades here that go back and forth. And when you squeeze the trigger, it helps you cut the hinge. So with this application where the hinge slots are already cut, you don't have to worry about the centering piece. It does have a centering gauge that you can get to put on here. When you get your, when you're working on new installation, you can actually put the hinge, uh, the center finder gauge, find the center, and then use the hinge slotter to cut the slots. It's a lot easier and a lot quicker than using a number 11 blade and it's a little bit safer. So what I do is I go ahead and get everything lined up. And run the hinge slotter in there just like that. And you can see this is my new hinge. 
and it'll install perfectly in there. Just like that. Now you have to do is put your epoxy on here and glue them in and good to go. Your hinges already should be lined up with the previous slots on the elevator so there's not a lot of uh, finagling that you need to do with it and should be a quick repair. So the next step is going to be to install the Dubro nylon hinges into your airframe. I would suggest that you use epoxy. I'm actually gonna use Boss USA Gold 12 minute. I like to have a little bit of extra work time with hinges in case once I get everything put together it needs to slide. I could use five minute, but I really don't like to limit myself that close on the time. If I need to slide the hinge in or out or back and forth a little bit, that'll give me some work time. Now I will give you a quick tip. What you should do anytime you're installing this type of hinges is you should take a little bit of Vaseline and a Q-tip and get a little bit of Vaseline on the Q-tip and come up to your hinge line and apply a little bit of Vaseline right along the hinge. What this does is this keeps the epoxy that you're working with from getting into the hinge line. That way your hinges won't freeze. Once that epoxy hardens, that hinge will pretty much be ruined if you um, don't remember to do this step. It doesn't have to be a lot, just a little bit right along the hinge. And what that does is that keeps the epoxy from getting into the hinge. Now this is ready to epoxy into the airframe and you should be good to go. As always, thank you very much for watching and happy building.